I'm Queenie and before we start, please subscribe to our channel so next time you'll be updated with our new releases. Hello everyone! Everyone is seeking the best shape of themselves. With the new standards of beauty, every part of the body can be adjusted and change, especially the face. You have probably heard many facial surgical terms lately. I mean, you must have heard about nose job, facelift, face liposuction, and also eyelid surgeries. Our video today is specifically about eyelid surgeries. Eyelid surgery is one of the most common cosmetic surgeries, especially in South Korea. South Korea is known to have the highest rate of surgery per capita globally. And eyelid surgery is a very popular procedure here. But why is eyelid surgery very popular in South Korea? It is usually done for cosmetic reasons. For example, black fibroplasty is an effective way to improve sight in elderly with sagging eyelids that can get in the way of their vision. Another procedure usually helps people to achieve bigger and more lively looking eyes, or even achieve asymmetry to have better looking eyes. I just mentioned blepharoplasty. It is a type of surgery that repairs droppy eyelids and removes excess skin, muscle, and fat. Our role today is to answer most of your questions regarding eyelid surgeries. Today we have Dr. Kim, who is a leading doctor at BK Plastic Surgery in Seoul, Korea. He is going to discuss with us about eyelid surgery from an experienced medical point of view. Um, hello, Dr. Kim. How are you? I am fine. Hey, how are you? How are you? <laughs> yeah, um, can you please introduce yourself to our audience? I am Kim Bayang Gun, head of BK Plastic Surgery. I specialize in plastic surgery of the eyes. Um, thank you, Dr. Kim. So, for my first question about eyelid surgery, are there any changes between the um, recreational and primary eyelid surgery? Yes, when it comes to eyelid surgery, before, most were first-time patients, but now there are many more revisional procedures done. The biggest difference between the initial and revisional surgery are that the first surgery is done in a clean, blank slate without any scars. Also, revisional surgeries typically address issues such as crookedness, unbalanced eyelids, or any other issues that are visible. Thus, the surgery tends to be more complex and the recovery time longer. Um, so, how do you find the perfect eyelid shape for your clients? There is no perfect or ideal shape, in reality. We go with what the patients want most is the perfect shape. However, in Asia, many have small eyes with a possible aggressive look. So many tend to prefer to change to a set of bigger eyes, wider open sideways and vertically. So, um, what kind of person is not suitable for epicanthoplasty? Epicanthoplasty extends the eye openings and gives a sense of openness. This procedure is good for those with strong Mongol eye folds and those who have eyes separated too far apart. The eyes are set close together. This procedure is not recommended. Um, so, what is the difference between um, double eyelid surgery and upper bed? Double eyelid surgery is a surgery mostly done by younger patients, while upper blepharoplasty is usually done by older people with drooping eyelid bags in order to make them look younger. Um, so, what is a lateral cantoplasty? Is it a must to do it with epicantoplasty? The surgery done to whiten the sides of the eyes, medio epicanthoplasty, and lateral canthoplasty. Lateral canthoplasty deals with whitening the sides of the eyes, while medio epicanthoplasty deals with the inner sides being whitened. These two procedures help widen the eyes on both sides of the eyes. Um, so, what, which kind of canthoplasty do you mainly do in Korea? The most common is ipocanthoplasty, since most Koreans have Mongol folds. Many get this procedure to widen the eyes and give a softer, more open look. Next common procedure is lateral canthoplasty. Um, so, how do you resolve the aesthetic difference between yours and the clients? Patients always have their own standards and satisfaction. 
While I also personally have my own set of standards and knowledge based on textbooks, I tend to follow the wish of the patients. So, um, what would doctors do to resolve unbalanced eyelids and or maybe pronounce the scars after eye surgery? Anyone can have some side effects such as scars, or even one side coming off. But these side effects can be easily remedied with revisions such as fixing unbalanced eyelids or removing scars. So how often do patients come to you or come to Korea after their first unsuccessful eyelid surgery? It is possible to have dissatisfaction arising from surgery. It can be fixed with revisions or an after-surgery consultation. For foreign patients, we do video consultations as it can be difficult to travel. For Singapore and China, we sometimes go over there to answer any questions. In cases where revision surgery is needed, they must come back to BK plastic surgery in Seoul. In reality, revision surgery at BK is not too common as many have results within their expectations. So is it difficult to redo the work from another doctor? Revision surgery is always more difficult. It tends to be easier if the original surgery was done by myself and more difficult if done elsewhere. In my case, I specialize in revisions for eyelids. Regardless of which doctors did the original surgery and regardless of the original issues, I can fix the problems with revision surgery. So to whom do you usually recommend non-incisional double eyelid surgery? In double eyelid surgery, we have incisional and non-incisional methods, a method that involves cutting skin and a method that does not. Non-incisional methods are appropriate for those with thin skin, low fat content, skin that is soft and supple, skin that does not droop too much and young. The opposite is true also. If the patient has lots of fat, has thick skin, drooping skin, and is old, then we recommend incisional methods. Um, so, what if the patients want to do a lysex surgery and also um, epicandoplasty? What would you prefer the patient to get it first? LASIK surgery done at an ophthalmologist and epicanthoplasty done at a plastic surgery center are separate procedures and the order does not matter. As long as the two procedures are apart by about a week, it does not matter which one is done first. So is it possible to have epicanthoplasty on only one eye when the another eye already has a double eyelid? If necessary, it is possible, but in most cases, doing both eyes at the same time results in a better look, so it is not really done on one eye. When it comes to eyelid surgery, long ago most were first-time patients, but now there are many more revisional procedures done. The biggest difference between the initial and revisional surgery are that the first surgery is done in a clean blank slate without any scars. Also, revisional surgery typically address issues such as crackiness, unbalanced eyelid, or any other issue that are visible. Thus, the surgery tends to be more complex and require longer recovery time. Epicanoplasty extends the eye's opening and gives a sense of openness. The procedure is good for those with strong Mongolian eye folds and those who have eyes separated too far apart. If the eyes are set too close together, this procedure is not recommended. Double eyelid surgery is a surgery mostly done by younger patients, while upper blepharoplasty is usually done by older ones with dropping eyelid bags in order to make them look younger. In double eyelid surgery, we have incisional and non-incisional method, a method that involves cutting the skin and a method that does not. Non-incisional methods are appropriate for those with thin skin, low fat content, skin that is soft and supple, skin that does not drop too much and young. The opposite is true. Also, if the patient has a lot of fat, has thick skin, dropping skin and all, then we recommend an incisional method. Lytrocantoplasty deals with whitening the side of the eyes, while medial epicanoplasty deals with the inner side being whitened. These two procedures can help whiten the eyes on both sides of the eyes. Anyone can have some side effects such as scars, unbalanced eyelid, or even one side coming off. 
but this side effects can be easily remedied with revisions. Thank you for joining us once again at Cosmo TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. We'll respond to you as soon as possible.